Hello, I'm David Chaston, standing in for Bernard Hickey again today with 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the Bank of New Zealand. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that the tenuous control engineers had over the nuclear power plant in Japan may be unravelling. Helicopter dousing of the main fire has been abandoned, and there are now real fears a main vessel has ruptured and a large-scale release of radiation may be imminent. This has sent stock markets sharply lower. The Dow is now at 11,655, down over 2.5% and falling quite fast. The euro is taking a hammering. Our dollar is also lower and now under 73 US cents. The Aussie dollar is falling faster than ours on repatriation concerns. Oil is down sharply again, as is the gold price. Most other commodities are down as well. Copper is at its lowest level of the year, down 12% from its peak just a few weeks ago. And as we reported yesterday, dairy prices are also tumbling. Even before these global reactions, New Zealand consumer confidence was weak. The latest ANZ Roy Morgan survey shows its index fell to 101.4, its lowest level since April 2009. Our tourism industry especially faces major challenges. Also facing challenges are those European economies. Overnight, the Finnish president called for, quote, the good girls of Europe, to stop paying the bills of the bad boys. This came as Moody's downgraded Portuguese debt by another two notches to A3. The pigs' governments are now paying eye-watering rates for their new bond issues, and it clearly cannot continue. Portugal's 10-year bonds are yielding over 7%, Ireland's over 9%, Greece over 12%. A major financial earthquake in Europe is almost certain to happen, and fairly soon. And finally, back here, mortgage approvals were up slightly in the latest week, one where we had fixed rate falls and the OCR cut. And the OCA, o, OECD released an interesting observation about how we work our GST system. New Zealand systems collect more than 98% of what it's supposed to, the most efficient in the world. Compare that with some others, the German, French and UK systems collect less than 60%, Spain less than 40%. Canada's system is a little better at 70%. Our government is an effective tax collector. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the Bank of New Zealand.